Welcome back subscribers to my world of stocks. So last quarter, Amazon purchased only one stock in the market, a single purchase during the entire quarter. And what makes it even more interesting is that it was in a quantum computing company called IonQ, ticker symbol I-O-N-Q. And so as both an Amazon shareholder myself and a heavy tech investor overall, well, I got to run through this whole situation for you, explaining what it means for Amazon, why they're choosing to buy the stock, as well as whether I would consider buying IonQ stock myself to follow in Amazon's footsteps. So smash that like button if you enjoy update videos like this on various tech and AI stocks. But let's just go ahead and jump straight into this, my friends. So uh, taking a look at the purchase here, this coming from their 13F filings from the most recent quarter, we can see that this was a new addition to their $2.4 billion portfolio, where Amazon added over 854,000 shares during the quarter of uh, IonQ valued at almost $37 million and worth just over 1.5% of their overall portfolio, making it, again, the, the only single stock purchase during that time. Now, why IonQ? Why would they buy this stock in particular? Well, for starters, Amazon is, of course, the absolute largest cloud provider in the entire world at a whopping 30% market share, uh, which is almost as much as both Microsoft and Google combined. And those are, of course, the number two and number three biggest players. And with AI spending really worth trillions of dollars per year, it's only going to get larger over time, uh, with so many companies just competing to build and deploy the best models out there uh, for, you know, to compete with each other, to compete with rivals. Well, the demand for Amazon's cloud platform is only going to grow even larger over time. Well, when talking about future growth in artificial intelligence and cloud, anyone that's been keeping up with the industry knows that the next major wave of growth in AI will very likely involve in a, you know, in some way, but in a big way, I would say, uh, quantum computing, a revolutionary technology and science really involving quantum mechanics that can potentially be much faster and more efficient at specific tasks. For example, the training of machine learning, learning models that take traditional GPUs weeks to complete can be shortened to just hours on IonQ's trapped ion systems. And the very long-term promise of quantum computing is almost unmeasurable, given that uh, most analysts agree it'll eventually be capable of cracking math problems that no computer on Earth can currently handle. For example, Google, Google's own QC chip, it's called Willow, is said to be capable of solving certain complex problems in just five minutes that would otherwise take even the world's fastest supercomputers 10 septillion years to complete, a number that most people can't even fathom. The point being, though, that virtually every industry out there could potentially be disrupted by this new technology. We're talking from financial analysis and drug discovery and healthcare to cybersecurity, encryption, and much more than just that. Well, it just so happens that IonQ themselves is already working in many of these areas, not only being the first pure play quantum computing company to go public back in like 2021, it was a special acquisition. Anyway, they have since been offering their systems on various cloud platforms, including not just Google and Microsoft, but you guessed it, even Amazon too. And so far this year, the company has been making great progress in scaling up qubits and improving error correction, while also leveraging their soaring stock price to make several strategic acquisitions and even announcing big new partnerships in areas in finance and pharmaceutical research and more, which are real world test beds that show how QC could move from theory into actual applied solutions in business, like in their recent collaboration with AstraZeneca, where they showed more than a 20 times speed up in simulating a key tr uh, drug discovery reaction, cutting months of computation down to just days. They also have an ambitious roadmap aiming to deliver a fully fault-tolerant quantum computer in a few years, I think by the end of this decade, 
a milestone that if achieved would mark the transition from experimental machines to truly practical quantum systems that can actually be scaled up and sold and used and be viable for businesses. Hence why it makes perfect sense why a company like Amazon would want to secure closer ties with a hardware specialist like this early on to ensure that the future of AWS remains competitive against you know, Microsoft's Azure and Google Cloud in the market of quantum computing and what they can offer there. A market, by the way, that UBS is projecting will generate annual sales north of $20 billion just by 2030 alone, with companies earning a total market cap of around three to four hundred billion dollars by then. Yet as of today, the four largest pure play QC stocks only amount to about 45 billion in value, meaning there's still a ton of room for expansion. Hence why so many investors are trying to get in early now on whoever they think will be the biggest long-term winners. Well, IonQ happens to be the largest among those pure plays in, spe in specific, with a market cap that has already ballooned north of $20 billion, or about half of that $45 billion I mentioned earlier. And while I can certainly see the long-term promise of a company like this that is really just getting started, it's hard for me to overlook the tiny amount of revenue by comparison. That last year was only less than $50 million. Now, granted, sales are growing at a fast rate of around 100% each year, but their loss per share keeps getting worse every year, and even if we value the company based on forward-looking revenues, their price-to-sales ratio is still sky-high at over 240. Guys, that's close to 7,000% more expensive than the sector average. Now, to give you some context, we generally consider a fair PS ratio to be around 1, and even if we look at NVIDIA, who is, of course, the most highly valued company in the entire world by market cap, over $4 trillion, well, their PS ratio is still only around 20, which is high, but uh, nowhere near as much as IonQ's. And more importantly, NVIDIA is, of course, extremely profitable. So it's more reasonable to trade them based on a PEG ratio, which sits at only around one and is 40% cheaper than the sector. In other words, the sky-high valuation for IonQ makes even the most highly valued stock in the entire world look like a bargain by comparison. And so while I can, of course, you know, for sure see the promise of a company like this long-term, I also just can't ignore that the stock price, which has soared by over 500% since going public, has almost nothing to do with their current financial performance, but rather almost everything to do with purely their future potential, which I'm not saying that that's not enough to warrant a purchase here. In fact, I actually think that if you want a speculative play on the future of quantum computing, then picking up a small position in a stock like this, just in case, and holding on to it for many, many years, maybe even decades into the future, that actually does make perfect sense to me. In fact, Amazon themselves are doing that very same thing, allocating just around 1.5% of their portfolio into this stock, which is not a huge risk for them, but still a big vote of confidence. It's probably more than I would put of my portfolio in a stock like this, but hey, Amazon, giant behemoth of a company, I would assume that they know what they're doing. Anyway, for me personally, though, I already have a ton of exposure to not just many AI stocks in general, but even QC stocks too, where yeah, quantum computing may not be their primary area of focus, but it is still something that they are investing heavily into, which they can afford to do, by the way, because of how large and profitable they are, including not just stocks like Amazon, but also Microsoft, Google, NVIDIA, and more. And those are some of my absolute largest in my portfolio, all of which are very safe stocks, in my opinion, that I have large and growing positions in and don't really lose, of course, any sleep parking my money in them. And by the way, I also have smaller, riskier stocks too, but they're just not, I would say, I guess, pure play QC stocks like something like IonQ. 
who knows though, maybe in the future, especially if we ever get a big dip on the stock, I might actually consider buying some of this one at perhaps a cheaper valuation, which I would absolutely make certain to update you guys on if that ever happens. So make sure you're subscribed, of course. But uh, for now, let me know down below what you guys think about what we discussed today and whether you would consider owning this stock yourself or if you already do, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Personally, I guess I'm a little more so excited just about Amazon because I, of course, own, it's one of my biggest stocks, so I'd love for them to do more with quantum computing and just be involved in that field for the long term. But uh, yeah, this stock is interesting as well. So again, let me know if this is one that interests you at all. Again, it's not a stock that I own at the moment myself, but I'd love to hear your thoughts. So let me know down below. Either way, I hope you're all doing well, my friends. Wish you the best of luck with whatever you're doing out there in the market. Now we'll catch you in the next one. All right, take care, everybody. Bye-bye.